Good morning, KVC. It's Wednesday morning, November 11th, and I'm coming to you with a word in season. Again, we're in Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 19 and 20. It says this, Do not fret because of evildoers, or be envious of the wicked. For the evildoer has no future hope, and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. I don't know about you, but at times in my life, I've begun to envy um, those that seem to have it all together, have abundant resources and cash and finances and cars and house. But I think there's a principle for us. Not everything that glitters is gold. And not everything that is bigger is better. And sometimes we can be duped by the world system. And Solomon's telling us here, do not fret because of evildoers. You know, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. It says, or be envious of the wicked. We're not to be envious of them, because here's why. For the evildoer has no future hope, and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. We have a future hope. We have a hope that his name is the Lord God Almighty. Romans 15, 13 says he is the God of hope. And so we have a hope. We have a reality that the world doesn't have. That this isn't our home. We're just passing through. And that we are our citizenship is an eternal citizenship in heaven. So don't fret today because you may see others, the wicked, prospering. You may see them getting all kinds of stuff and you may be struggling. And this is the reality. We have a hope that they don't have. So rest in that hope because he is the God of hope. Let's pray. Father, thank you. And we don't have to be envious because you've given us everything we need for life and godliness. That you've told us that we can be content in the good times and the bad times. And that you never leave us nor forsake us. And that you take delight, great delight in us. That you even sing over us. That as Hosea says, that even when we go through the valley of Achor or trouble, there's always that door of hope. Thank you, Jesus. You are that hope for us today. We pray it in your name. Amen.